Hello and welcome back once again to Rob's Homemade Food and Recipes and today we are going to be doing my holiday shopping haul. As you know if you've been if you subscribe to this channel and you follow me on social media, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, you will know I've been on a cruise and I'm gonna say this now. Just do it. Just do it. A cruise is an amazing thing to do. You just Go to bed on the night, wake up and you're in another country, you get off the boat, you go and have a wander around. It's just an amazing thing to do. If you ever thought about doing it and want to do it, just do it. You won't regret it, I promise you. We've already booked our next one. We've just done the Bay of Biscan, which was France, Spain, Portugal, Guernsey. And I went shopping. Um, as we were walking around, um, usual shops, clothes, blah, blah, blah. Yet me just veered off, found the local supermarket or the local shops and tried to find some stuff which was food related. My missus was off doing the wrong thing and I was popping in these shops, but just, just go on a cruise, it's great. Anyway, we've got a few items here which I've picked up from various places and countries. So we're going to start with the hot sauce, Paradise Form, Guernsey's grown chilies these were grown in guernsey it's called donkey's hit kick extremely hot chili sauce we will be doing a review on this one as you can see all the chili flakes are in there it's looking good uh handcrafted and bottled in guernsey ingredients sugar white wine vinegar salt garlic onion habano habanero seven pot yellow and habanero katie I don't think I've ever had a Kate Harbonero Kate, but best before date. There is their Facebook page if you want to go and check them out. I will be checking them out at a later date to see what else they've got, which I could order. So, Donkey's Kick, yeah. Paradise Farms, Guernsey's homegrown chilies. So, that was that. I think that bottle was a couple of quid. Um, well, it was euros actually. No, was it euros? No, it was pounds in Guernsey, sorry. But yeah, a couple of quid there. So, bargain for that one. Um, this one, James's Chocolate Chilies. These were also purchased in Guernsey. Um, smoky, smoky Chipotle milk chocolate chilies. So, I'm not sure if them, I don't know if you can see in there, I'm not sure if them chilies that I'm coated in chocolate or it's chocolate infused, uh, chili infused chocolate. We'll find out when we crack them bad boys open. Um, James Chocolate. James's Chocolates were the first British chocolate maker to blend chili with chocolate. I had to learn something new. That was nearly 20 years ago, and chili chocolate is still popular today. Which is true. The ingredients on the back, I'll go through them when I try those. And these three were purchased in Portugal. I mean, this is something I've never seen before. Scorpion fish pate. Apparently this scorpion fish is just in Portugal's waters or in the seas around Portugal. It doesn't, this fish is not anywhere else. So I had to get one of these because you're not going to be able to buy this anywhere apart from Portugal. So we'll definitely be trying that. I don't know what scorpion fish tastes like. I've never had it before. Never even heard of it before until this day, to be honest. Um, but yeah. It's definitely going to be a nice pate, I'm assuming. So, and these two, Sal Picanto, it's a piri piri pimento, spicy salt with piri piri and paprika. So this is their own blend. A lot of the back of the writing, I can't understand because it's actually in Portuguese, but it says it's made with manual, actually there's an English translation underneath. Made with manual collected Portuguese sea salt from Rui Salamo and flavoured with ingredients typical to the local cuisine. So, Portuguese cuisine, we're going to give that a go. This one, as you can see, I've already tried this and it's brilliant. It's salt, flour, and seaweed. I had this, if you should, like I said it once before, if you follow me on social media, especially Facebook, I did post a fish dish using this sea, uh, sea salt and seaweed mix and it was amazing it's it tasted so good um 
I will be doing a recipe video on this channel for these, uh, for the fish recipe, but this stuff again, Portuguese, um, Portuguese salt flour from the same place, Ruby Cemento, flavoured with the organic seaweed, produced by Aldi Plus. Basically two ingredients in this, salt flour and sea lettuce, which is obviously seaweed. But this stuff's cracking, I'll definitely be using a lot more of this. So, anyway, that was my holiday shopping haul. If you watch anybody else's channel, when they come back on holiday, probably bring back clothes, I don't know, anything else I'm going to do. But me, when I go away, it's got to be all about the food. It's got to be all about the sources, the local sources that they make, that you either have to order off the internet or you can't get in, <coughs> get in the UK or anywhere else. So I love to be able to try different things from different countries. If anybody on here is watching, I know it's a big ask, but... If you do live anywhere apart from the UK and you've got some good hot sauces, let me know in the comment below. And I would love it if people want to send me something to try and review. I, lo I love trying different flavours from around the world. That's my next cruise as well, is around the Canary Islands. So I will be going shopping around the Canary Islands as well. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you all again very soon. Don't forget to hit that like button. It means more than you know. If you're watching me for the first time, hit that subscribe button. That also means the world to me. And I will see you all again soon for reviews and recipes using this lot. Peace!